Hello, Commander. Welcome to the XCOM Project. As you well know, 9 a.m. October 31st, Greenwich Mean Time, there was multiple unidentified contacts around the entire globe. These contacts have ranged from temporary radar glitches to street to street fighting. These craft are unlike anything we have ever detected before. The creatures are not of this planet. That is why you are here. XCOM has one goal to find, to hunt, to study, and to kill these alien invaders. Good luck, Commander. Hello, 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 everybody. My name's the Zero Man, and I've wanted to do this game on a countdown to zero for a long, long time. Welcome to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Oh yeah. Oh, this game was released last year about this time. Literally my saves were the exact same day when I restarted playing this again. Oh, this game is... It's the first XCOM game we actually got since, like, the early 2000s. And it is XCOM. It really is. I'll explain exactly what that means in a moment, but... If you don't know the Countdown to Zero setup, basically, look at kind of how the game works, and label three good things and three bad things about the game. So, let's start in with some of the graphics options. I have the volume down just because I use a headset to record, and I don't like being deaf. Uh, gameplay, third person cam, auto saves, enemy health. Enemy health is very recommended. If you don't have enemy health on, you're in for a bad time. Interface, you can have mouse, Xbox 360 controller, ah, okay. Okay. I want you to look at the resolution of this game, and I just want to throw this out here right now. This game has been out for a year. For a year. And the resolution on here isn't 1080p, like it normally would be on one of my games. The reason why is, for some reason, 1440 by 900 is the highest graphics I can get that fits my screen. Now my screen is a 16 by 9 monitor that can easily go 1080p. It is a 27 inch screen. I could easily do 1080p. I could fit 1080p on here. I have no problems running 1080p on any other game, but this one won't do it. If I try running 1080p, it will completely mess up the entire screen and it becomes completely unusable to play any game whatsoever. So, I have no idea why. It's just really crappy, crappy coding on their part. Graphics, settings, effects, te textures, anti-aliasing, fog of war, texture filtering, shadows. Meh. Just kind of your basic stuff. So, shall we? We shall. Welcome to the main screen you're going to be seeing for a good part of the game. This is the base. This is the one and only base, sadly. Yeah, it's... Stap it. Stap it. This is the only base you get to see during the entire game, unlike any other kind of XCOM game. There is no multiple base system. Now the interesting thing about this game is that depending on where you set your base in different regions, unlocks different abilities, like going in Europe gets you more science, 
going in Africa gets you more money, going into the United States makes weaponry cheaper, that just kind of various different power-ups. But this is the only base you get, which kind of sucks, especially when you have to make a choice between three different alien attacks at once. But I guess I can show off just the building aspect, the facilities. It's just a giant grid that you could actually go and build different kinds of facilities in. And it's kind of interesting, you could just go back... This is randomized. It's semi-randomized. You get some different things every time. There's usually always at least one steam vent, but there's different things that kind of just bob around and just kind of switches it up from different time to time, but it really doesn't change the gameplay any. There are no base attacks, so the setup of your base really doesn't matter in any way, shape, or form. So, three things I like about this game. It's XCOM. Like, there, there really is no way of put getting past that. I mean, look at this. That is a tri-gatling gun. The tri-barreled Gatling gun that fires lasers. Like, where else are you going to see that outside of XCOM? Like, that's just crazy looking. Laser sniper rifle, scatter rifle. Just a normal laser rifle, a pistol. Actually, I find the laser rifle research to be hilarious. Because I, that's probably one of my favorite cutscenes, is when the laser rifle is tested. Because a researcher just holds it up to his shoulder, pulls the trigger, and there's the, you know, like the paper targets used in like firing ranges. Well, there's one setup of those of an alien, and it just completely explodes into tiny little bits of fiery paper. It's wonderful. So yeah, if you want XCOM, this is it. All the alien, well, I'm not sure if all the aliens are back, but a lot of the staples are back. The sectoids. The Thin Men... Thin Men might be new. I'm not exactly sure about that, but... I can actually go through here and point out some of them to you. Yep, the Sectoids... Not... There's no pictures, sadly. Sectoid... You have floaters, which floaters have like a jetpack strap to them. Uh, thin men, they look like humans, they spit poison. Uh, chrysalid. It's like a kind of insect type thing <clears throat> that hunts you down, like melees you to death. So those are like the initial ones. It does more and more start piling up as it goes on, they become more and more advanced in their technology. Now the reason I'm not doing any missions is just because I'm to a point where I don't really want to do a, any kind of story spoilers, as little spoilers as there are, and I'm at a point where I could do some story, sto la la, story spoilers, so... Anyway, on to my second point. The game is fun. I've played this a lot. It is quite fun. Granted, I'm going to get to this in the downsides. I like researching more than I do the combat, but all in all, the game is fun. It is fairly strategic, but this, like, this entire thing, this base, is less strategic of the actual... This is some of the least strategic parts of the game, sadly. So, part three. What do I like about this game? <sighs> That's actually very tough. Because the voice acting is meh. It's it's okay at best and grating at the least. <clears throat> Just I actually can't pull out a third thing that I like about this game. I remember when all we heard about were flying saucers. 
The aliens certainly have come a long way. Yeah, like voice acting like that. I, I, I just don't like it for some reason. I can't think of a third thing, sadly, and usually I can. Well, I guess I'll just go into the disappointments parts of this. Number one. Number one. Number one. Graphically. Oh, graphically. This game. Oh. It doesn't look bad. It performs bad. As you saw, I can't go 1080p. And I have a machine that's fully this capable. I'm receiving you. Oh, shut up, Central. What do you mean you think you saw a snake? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Oh, jeez. Anyway, before I was interrupted, I have a machine fully capable of running 1080p. I have a monitor fully capable of running 1080p. I have it all hooked up. It should work 1080p, and it doesn't. Not only that, granted, when the game came out, it would the camera would get stuck on objects. But now, it's not just the camera gets stuck on objects. The camera does get stuck on objects, but in tight spaces. The camera's better, but it still gets stuck. It still bugs out. And it's really not any better than it was at launch. Number two. The game has massive game-breaking glitches at this point. It's been a year in. Back... The engineering team is getting antsy. Oh, they sh shut about the new weapons than our troops are. up. Central. Anyway... The game has multiple game-breaking glitches, which a year ago, I never ran into any. Now I'm playing again a year later, after all the patches, it feels like I've run into about four or five where I've completely had to com close the game. And not just close the game, because I can't Windows key out of it. I've only been able to Windows key out of it once, which proves that I can, and the game's glitching out and refuses to let me override it with the Windows key. Not only that, I've only been able to control alt delete out of the game one time. Ever since then, it's completely overrided the control alt delete and won't let me use it anymore, which I know I could do windowed mode, but I'd rather play it full screen. We're getting a lot of garbage on the line. You're not coming in clearly. I just I I don't know. How did they get it so wrong? Like, there's so many game-breaking glitches. I've had so many times where the, like, the entire UI just completely disappears, or just every character model just completely disappears and you can't see where anything's at, and I had to completely restart the game. And not just restart the game, shut down my entire machine and reboot it because I couldn't alt, just control, alt, delete out of the game. Third up. The game you should file that request directly with doesn't Microsoft. have any kind of branching tech. As in the old XCOM games, all the tech had some kind of branching path. There is no branching path now. It's all everything's better than each other. Everything's better than each other. So, if you get a laser rifle, the laser rifle is better than an assault rifle. If you get, like, a plasma rifle, a plasma rifle is better than a laser rifle, etc., etc. All of it's linear, boring upgrades, which is alright. I like researching the tech. Researching the tech is the most fun I have with this game, because the combat... I actually have to add a fourth to my complaint in this game. I hate the combat. Why? Because the combat's all dice rolled, which you can complain that... Ooh, the original XCOM was all dice rolling, and I understand. I perfectly understand why it's dice rolling as to the percentage of what chance you have to hit. That's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. It's not the dice rolling I have a problem with. It's the times when it doesn't feel like it's rolling the correct dice. I've had about three times that over a 90% chance to hit has missed. And I haven't played like hundreds and hundreds of hours of the game. I've only played about 16 to 18 hours altogether over the past year. And I've missed multiple, multiple over 90% shots. It happens consistently. It seems to be any time I don't have a guaranteed 100%, if it's a 90 and not a 100%, I will miss. It doesn't seem like the percentages work. 
And then you have really overly ridiculous AoE attacks. Like, you have the Thin Men who just spit poison. It's like, oh, if they're completely outnumbered, they just spit poison onto everybody just to annoy the crap out of you. <sighs> I love playing this game, but good gracious, Fire Axis, what are you doing? Like, there's so many things wrong with this game. I want to love it. I want to love it. Oh, so many of them died. That's actually really sad. I actually remember Smokes. Smokes was a support. Was a really good support, too. Support class. But anyway, back on topic. I honestly, this is one of the hardest challenges I have in giving this a game a score. Because there's so many issues I have with it, but it's such a fun game. <sighs> if the issues were worked out to where it didn't just completely crash, if the science trees were expanded, which thank goodness they're going to be in the expansion that's coming out, Enemy Within, and if just the dice rolling actually felt somewhat, I don't know, like it was actual dice rolling and not just the game glitching out. Which I know, I know, you could all say that, oh, 90% multiple times, it's still physically possible. Yes, I know, it's still physically possible. It's just, it's so unlikely that for it to happen makes me think it's more gli dice rolling is more glitching than it is anything else, but... Ugh... <sighs> Uh, I have to give this game a score now. I'm really... I don't know. Because I'm so torn. Because I'm so torn, I'm gonna have to give this game a 5 out of 10. I'm gonna have to give it an average rating. Because I want to love it. I like this. I like XCOM. I like the entire idea behind XCOM. XCOM is cool. Like, having an entire government agency going against... Aliens? And just kind of starting with current technology and just back reverse engineering all the alien stuff? That's awesome! And the old games are still awesome. But this one just... It's lacking in so many areas, and it's not well polished, even a year after release. Like, there's still so many bugs a year after release. It's n absurd. It's just absurd. So I can't give it anything above an average. I can't give it anything above a 5, even though I like the game. <sighs> I, if you can't tell, I'm frustrated, because I want it to be good. I really do want it to be good, and it's, not, and it's just not all that great. It just isn't. It's okay at best. With Enemy Unknown, I am going to come back to this and look at Enemy Unknown and see if this game is any better. But until then, guys, this has been XCOM signing out.